Hello and welcome bikers, non-bikers and those of you that are bike curious. Today we're in for a real treat um, and we're down at Cotswold BMW testing out the BMW S1000RR. Here we have a M1000RR in full carbonized spec including carbon wheels and a really really naughty price tag. 35 grand. Wow. This bike really is something to look at there. So here is the version they've given me for the day. This is the BMW S1000RR in sports spec. Now I took the bike out for a ride to Fish Hill and I was really lucky to have some decent weather. Where I wasn't so lucky however was I did have a microphone in my helmet um, and I was going to do a voiceover um, on the bike to give you the real feel of uh, the emotions I was going through while riding out on this brilliant bike. Fortunately I had to do a voiceover but Hey how. So the BMW S1000RR is a true German engineered thoroughbred superbike and it's got an insane amount of technology and trick components. I can certainly say the BMW Motorrad team have really nailed both the looks and performance on this aggressive looking and agile handling weapon of a machine. The S1000RR has been a resident member of the BMW range and has been under development in various guises since 2009. The latest edition of this beautiful bike was updated in 2021 and once again it's proven to be a top performer in British superbikes on the road with regular riders and have a go heroes like you and me, plus winning the Isle of Man TT with pilot Peter Hickman in 2022. The S1000RR since, it been, since its inception has utilised an inline four cylinder configuration and the latest model kicks out a walloping 205 brake horsepower at 13,500 RPM. A surging 83 foot pound of torque and a red line of 14,600 RPM. Can a mere mortal like you or I tame such immense power, I hear you ask? Well, today we're going to find out. Luckily, Rory at Cotswolds BMW has assured me that the electronics package on the BMW, including adjustable traction control, dynamic damping control, and advanced ABS, will keep all but the most ham fisted of riders in good shape through the occasional overcooked corner or greedy application of throttle and corner exit. Standard equipment on the bike includes ABS Pro. BMW Motorrad Race ABS, Dynamic Traction Control, Hill Start Control and Adjustable Riding Modes. Other cool features include a modern TFT display, LED lighting, aluminium wheels and a special World Superbike inspired aluminium swing arm. For 2022 the S1000 is available in three colour options including the M package in white, red and blue probably my favourite of the, the options. Hockenheim Silver Metallic, Black Storm Metallic, and I believe this kind of metallic white that this bike's come in. Now as you can see this bike is just dispatching with traffic and it's such a nimble handling machine. Just think and point it in the direction of somewhere you want to go and it complies. It really is addictive to open that throttle and run up through the gears through its quick shift up and down uh, gearbox. Take note of the uh, moped rider on the left, we see him again in a minute. Now I just love the look of this bike. 
I love how aggressive it looks. I love the lines. And I just love the look of the front end. It reminds me of the apex predator of the ocean, a shark looking for its next meal. Well, I imagine that's probably what Peter Hickman feels like when he's about to dispatch his next rival on the TT circuit. All the technology on the S1000RR is presented on a really lovely 6.5 inch TFT display that was perfectly visible in really bright sunlight because of the matte finish, minimizing light reflections from the sun. On the left, the switch gear is really intuitive. You've got a couple of ways to scroll through the menu with a scroll wheel that also moves left and right. Change through rider modes on the right hand side. Road, race, dynamic, rain, race pro. You can look at your vehicle stats, including tire pressures, engine temperature, fuel, onboard trip computer. And my favorite part, scrolling through to Race Pro, where you can set this bike up however you feel fit. Now BMW have gone all out with five selectable rider modes, including rain, road, dynamic, race, race pro. The best bit for me was Race Pro, you can see here, included in the sports spec and M sports package. It's broken out into three customizable maps with adjustable parameters for engine power, engine braking, traction control, wheelie control, ABS, and dynamic damping. For track riders, this is a brilliant bit of technology, allowing you to really dial in your ride as you progress through your track day or race meet. The S1000 takes advantage of BMW's shift cam technology, and it switches between two cams, one for low revs, sedate, around town riding, and one for high revs, head rattling high performance. Now, one of the best features of this bike is the reactions you get from onlookers. I think that chap like the S1000RR. Now, the shift cam technology, along with a well-adjusted fuel mapping, enables the S1000RR to deliver smooth, responsive, low-speed riding and all-out high-power performance in the same machine. Jekyll and Hyde, some might say. This bike really isn't intimidating to ride when you only tickle the throttle. However, once you do open the throttle wide open, it's an absolute animal. Riding through the Cotswolds today has really shown me how much I love bikes like the S1000 and I'm really considering putting this on my to-do list in terms of bikes to add to my, uh, my dream garage. It absolutely eats up corner by corner, point it in a direction, open the throttle and the bike just goes there. The brakes are really strong. They've upgraded them recently to the Nissin, kept front calipers, Brembo on the rear. And this bike really does just make you feel like it's going to sort you out around corners that you slightly overcook or turn you into Fabio Quattararo on a track day. All in all, I think this, as a sports bike, has got to be the one bike that you can really do it all on. It's comfortable, you could tour on it, you could ride it to the shops with a backpack on obviously, and also you can take it to the track and chase those lap times. Now if you enjoyed this video please like, comment and subscribe. If you didn't, chuck it a thumbs down. But please, you know, let me know what you think. Maybe you've got an S1000RR in the garage. Are you thinking of buying one? Or is this bike not for you? Some really exciting news came out this week and BMW are now launching a new BMW S1000RR. The 2023 model. It comes with winglets as standard and it looks like it's gonna be a really fantastic bike. It's got slide control into corners, for God's sake. I always love it when you catch up with a couple of fellow bikers out for exactly the same reasons we are, to enjoy the ride. Now, I hope you enjoyed riding along with me today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.